Welcome to Username Nerd News. My name is Mike Hewitt, and with Planet Comic Con coming up, we decided to go out and get a hold of some of the artists that are going to be there at Artist Alley. And uh, we actually contacted Melissa Rains, a local artist in this area that's going to be there, and a friend of the show, and she let us come out to her studio to give us a tour and to show us some of the stuff she's been working on and getting ready for Planet Comic Con. So let's go ahead and see what she's got. Welcome to Username Nerd News. My name is Mike Hewitt, and with me I have Melissa Rains. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. And you are going to be at Planet Comic Con, uh, May 20th to 22nd, um, 2016, and you're going to be in Artist Alley. Do you think you can tell us a little bit about Artist Alley and that section of Planet Comic Con? Well, that is the section of Comic Con where all of the graphic artists that work on the comic books, as well as the colorists and fine artists, uh, set up so that they can talk with their fans and sign comic books and uh, sell prints of their art. Uh, it's very interesting to me to go and talk to the other artists there, so it's always kind of a neat little trip, uh, as well as an opportunity to show the public what we work on and what we do. Uh, so for us, it's it's an experience. So. Um it's a great, I mean, there's a lot of artists there and stuff along those lines. Are there very many different mediums and what kind of medium do you like the best? Well, I like the fine art the best, but there's rarely a lot of fine artists. Mm -hmm. um, I think last year there were only two or three. Mm -hmm. So I always encourage people, if you do fine art and you really are into comics and things, you can consider doing Comic-Con. Um, but there, mostly we're talking graphic artists who do computer-generated art and graphic artists and illustrators who do comic books. Now, some of those do traditional media and use micron pens and markers so you'll see people with a big box of like Copics you know that's someone who colors like full-time because in order to buy that many Copics you better have a job <laughs> mm -hmm. but then you see a lot of other people who are using um, tablet computers mm -hmm. or um, their specialty art level uh, computer tablets that use Photoshop and other products like that um, to make the graphics that way and they say that that's great because then you can do things like the guy who did Dilbert he would dry, draw Dilbert three or four times and then he would reuse that same pose in several comics mm -hmm. so and you do a lot I mean what is your favorite universe of stuff to you know draw or paint or along those lines it's obviously Star Wars. <laughs> I'm a big, huge Star Wars fan. Um, I remember, I saw Empire Strikes Back when I was very young, and I don't remember that so much as when Return of the Jedi came out, mm -hmm. and I just thought that was the best movie ever made. Mm -hmm. And like I, a lot of us. Yes. And I remember my mom bought me a coloring book, and that was one of the ones that I colored every single page in and did detail and added things to, and I was so excited about it. Um, just love that. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really what got me into drawing Star Wars. <laughs> so, so in the universe of Star Wars, what is your favorite character to draw or uh, paint or along those lines? Um, I'm trying to think. I... I have done a lot of Rey, but I think that's more because she's a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't done a lot of portraiture since I was in college, and so I'm out of practice, so I've been working my way up on that. So in a way, she's a blessing and a curse. I, I'm working on getting the pastels just right to get her skin color good and get mm -hmm. the shape of her face. Um, but. So I guess I focused on her a lot, but I've been doing some BB-8s lately too. So he's fun because he's not really complicated. Mm -hmm. He's really easy and I've been trying to make him more interesting because... Oh, oh I you're just, fine, you're fine. <laughs> Because he's white and orange and gray, you know? So you want to do things with him. Mm -hmm. So that's why on this one I was doing him in motion to give him a little bit more mm -hmm. something. <laughs> Melissa Rains actually showed us a lot of the paintings she's been working on for the last couple of months to get ready for Planet Comic Con. Uh, she showed us just painting after painting of just amazing things um, from BB-8 to Ray to 
uh, the Stormtroopers to Millennium Falcon. It was just, um, they're just amazing paintings. She showed us some of the techniques and uh, some of the pencils and pens that she uses every day to create these things. And Melissa Hewitt, my actual wife, decided to actually wanted to interview her uh, about a few more questions she had. Hi, I'm Melissa Hewitt, and we're back with Melissa Rain, so I have a few more questions for her. And has there been anything that anyone's asked you to commission for them? Anything strange, weird, or...? I actually, I, I did commissions when I was in college, and I had a guy ask me to do his car once. Um, that actually came in handy because years later I did, uh, my boss did car shows. So I did several different drawings for car shows and it was really cool because I got to work with some really good artists to draw all these cars. But uh, the weirdest thing I've been asked lately was I'm literally illustrating a scene out of Ezekiel in the Bible. So I've done the full gambit from, you know, monster cars <laughs> down to, you know, read this passage <laughs> and and try to come up with an illustration for it so well i'm glad you know probably drawing on your training and schooling and stuff you're able to have a very wide range of what you can do and yeah. um so we've got uh, several of your prints that we've shown and, and uh shared you going to be having prints and originals available at comic-con yes i will um i'm not sure on the originals uh i i i'm I started out doing the Star Wars things for my son. So some of them I don't know if he's going to part with. <laughs> and my daughter is really attached to a couple of Ray. So I'm going to frame them and bring them so people can see them, but I don't know how many of the originals I'm actually going to sell. So you were talking about doing some artwork for your kiddo. That's right. I started out doing um, Zentangle on these little tiles in order to relax and meditate. And I, was, I wasn't feeling well at the time. And my son asked me if I could draw him a Millennium Falcon. So I put the two together. I drew a ginormous Millennium Falcon and this is all done in Micron pen. And this is a Micron pen. So itty bitty pen giant thing and then I used watercolor pencil to do the shading and so what I did was I drew the falcon first and then I filled in all the little spaces with the different patterns that are zenting and so that was really one of the first pieces I did for his room because he wanted to update his nursery theme which was Winnie the Pooh to Star Wars so from there I started doing you know requests for him so I did like an R2-D2 and I did a couple others that are still hanging up in there you know because that was the ones he really wanted um, but from there I saw the new movie and I got inspired and I was like oh I really love these new characters so I've done a lot of things from the new movie now. Yeah. Well, and you mentioned your micron pen. Tell us a little bit more about the tools and stuff that you use to when you're creating your pieces. So I started out using the Micron pen, but I've kind of moved on from there. Uh, I always wanted to tackle watercolor. I wasn't really great with it in college, and I had heard that now they have these watercolor pencils. So what they do is they take the things that are normally in a watercolor palette, and they put it in pencil shape, which for an illustrator like me is really awesome because that means I can draw with this, and then I can go over it with just water and make watercolor. So it's it's perfect for me because I want to be a little bit more exact with where I'm putting the color on there. And then I can use just the right amount of water to get it to do what I want it to do. And then from that, I went one step further and I found out there are water-soluble pastels now that also come in pencil form. And that's my new favorite thing because pastels work really, really well for skin because of the way you can layer it and blend it. So. Especially with doing Ray, I found that that is just a godsend for doing her face because you can get that smooth texture. And well, thank you so much, Melissa, for talking with us. You're very welcome. <laughs> Hope to see you guys at Planet Comic Con Kansas City 2016. Come on out and see Melissa Rains at her booth and ask her some questions and talk with her. Okay, stop. Don't go to the next YouTube video or channel or skip or don't do anything. Real quick, five seconds. We have three different channels. Please subscribe to them. Username Nerd News, username Nerd Comics, username Nerd Games. We have separated them out into three ones. Choose all of them or just 
just one to subscribe to. You'd love it. I promise you we'll give you great content. It'll show up in your feed. You'll love it. Just real quick click. It doesn't take but a few seconds. You'd be awesome. Thank you. I mean, you are really awesome. Thank you.